Good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to uh, Two Turtle Gardens. And it's Rob here. And I'm just uh, basically we're just going to walk around, and take a look at the spring gardens. But uh, we'll just have a little talk there about uh, what's going on here. We're having a little pandemic around the world, apparently, with this virus thing. And I find lots of things amazing about this. I go to the grocery store, guys. And here in my local small community, it's all about toilet paper and beer. Yep, you heard it. Toilet paper and beer. I, I walked by last night. I went to pick up just a couple of things. I waited till the last minute because I thought there wouldn't be that many people there. But you know what? There was lots of people there. And in their shopping carts, there was bush beer and toilet paper. I mean... It's not the end of days, it's a virus, guys. And if I can give you guys any advice, I'm an old nurse, and I'm going to tell you, wash your hands. Avoid large crowds. I mean, you can only do so much. But I mean, the odds of you getting it, you might get it. And the odds of you dying from it are pretty low, but still fairly high for a virus. It's like 2.7% on average. And the older you are, and if you have like immune compromised uh, disorders like asthma or something like that, it, uh, the numbers go up. But uh, what you need to know is just wash your hands. Stay out of contact with people who are sick, obviously. And do the best you can to uh, protect yourself from, uh, from being in large crowds. Anyway, back to the garden. Um, we were talking about, we can go back to dependency on the uh, system to uh, feed us. And we can say, hey, you know what? It's, it really is nice that we have a good system in place. Uh, but you can't be dependent on everything like in times like this. So preparedness, but not psychoticness, is the key here. Uh, be prepared. Like we've always, at our house, we've always had um, oh, about a month and a half supply of like canned goods and things like that. Nothing too extraordinary. And it's no different today than it, you know, it was before this uh, pandemic broke out. We're prepared, and I think, you know, if you, you just use common sense, I think the worst thing you could do is panic in a situation like this. Because, you know, when you panic, that frontal uh, cortex uh, part of your brain there shuts off and you can't make rational decisions anymore. Just looking at, uh, while we're talking, guys, I'm just looking at some of the seed pods here and there on these morning glories that we had. I doubt the seeds are viable. I just got to talk to you about the tobacco plants, too. I, uh... I can't find the original seed that I bought from, uh, well, I can tell you who I bought them from, uh, Adaptive Seeds. Um, so what I did is I picked off some of these. Now, they were went through the cold and winter and frozen. Now, I don't know if the seeds are viable, but guess what? We're going to find out because if they are, we'll have tobacco plants, and if they're not, we won't. So, getting back to the craziness that is um, this virus outbreak. Um... I wouldn't worry about it, guys. Uh, just put it in perspective. There's lots of things that kill you. Like alcohol itself is dangerous, you know. If you're a young person, the odds of getting out alive are, like, you know, similar. 2% of us die because we're stupid boys. <laughs> but seriously, though, don't overreact to any of this. Just stay cool. Prepare. Like, if you're prepared, then you're good. Most of the friends I know in the gardening community are well prepared, and so I know that we are all okay, but... Uh, Generally speaking, uh, what I'm seeing out there, the, just irrational behavior like you would not believe. All right, back to the garden again. You can see I put my compost down. There's coffee grounds in there, uh, tea bags apparently, you can see, and uh, banana peels, and a few other things that are in there. And I got broccoli stems over there. The rabbit's been in here too. So we just fertilize this garden. We grow our herbs in there. This is the ideal. So, and then you can see right here, eggshells. Magnesium for your soil and calcium. It's all very good. And you can see here, little surprises. Little spring surprises. Isn't that nice? I'm going to hold that there. Hopefully make that the opening shoot. Sign of spring. Well, so I'm not going to go too, on, uh, too long on this video. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know, just stay cool. Just wash your hands. Avoid contact with lots of people. And the odds are you're going to make it through okay. The numbers are in your favor. If you have older uh, parents you're taking care of or uh, you know some older folks, 
make sure that they're safe too because they're more susceptible to this than uh, younger folks you know I'm, I can't say I'm younger anymore I'm in my 50s so I'm in that percentile where it starts accelerating for death so I'm just avoiding things I'm off for uh, three weeks my workplace has been shut down so they'll give me time to get here in the garden and do a little bit of cleanup as you can see I got lots to do but I don't mind rather slow the pace down a little bit you know miss a couple of paychecks oh well I'll survive all right guys thanks for coming along with me uh, remember about this just stay cool stay rational and don't do anything crazy you got enough toilet paper this is not a toilet paper kind of virus it's a it's a chest kind of you know viral infection but anyway take care everyone rest of amigos have a great Saturday, everyone, and I'll be in touch with you guys probably next week because gardening season's starting to wrap up. We're going to start some seeds there in the beginning of April. Take care, everyone.